Ha, did you hear about the latest trend in finance from Shenzhen in October? Well, unless you've been living under a rock, everyone by now must know that Shenzhen launched a digital currency on a massive scale, giving out 50,000 red packets, each worth 200 RMB. Oh, unfortunately, we are not Shenzhen citizens, mm. so we missed out. Ah, what a pity. Anyway, even though this topic has been trending for quite some time now, what I want to know is how exactly does it work and whether or not it's convenient to use. Hmm. To answer your question, actually, I have prepared a video for you. Okay. 只要手机上有数字人民币的数字钱包，那连网络都不需要，两个手机碰一碰就能把一个人钱包里的数字货币转给另一个人。Only one hundred RMB. Can I just take a screenshot of the digital currency and send it to them? I don't think it could work. Because you need to pay for a friend for an app. But what's the difference between the digital currency and, for example, WeChat Pay or AliPay? Well, um, there's a difference. The digital currency is similar in nature to the cash in my hand,、mm. but AliPay and WeChat platforms are the third-party platforms. In order to make it easier to understand, could you please open your transfer option in your AliPay? Okay, sure. Okay, so any transfer above twenty thousand RMB will incur at least a zero point one yuan transfer fee. So you know that actually this is a platform, not money itself, right? Hmm, that's true. So I guess digital currencies can actually help us save a little bit of money. You can think of it in that way. Hmm, but apart from that, are there any other differences between these online payment platforms and digital currencies? Um, I think the second major difference is that you can pay while offline, so you don't need Wi-Fi. As long as your phone has power, you can pay for anything. Hmm. Okay. So with that in mind, do you think digital currencies will one day replace the digital payment platforms that we rely so much on these days? Not necessarily. Speaking of the competition between the digital money and the AliPay and WeChat platforms, let's take a listen to what an insider has to say. Okay. Hey. 那么在数字人民币时代呢，微信、支付宝这个钱包里呢，增加了数字人民币这一项内容，老百姓呢依然可以使用微信和支付宝进行支付。Okay. I think I've got it. But what about foreigners? If they come to China, can they use the digital currency as well? Well, as far as I know, all you need to do is download an app to use the digital currency. And in the future, I think the cross-border payments may also be possible. Hmm. Now that does sound good. But overall, I think it sounds more like a way to encourage us to just keep spending even more money. It means we're going to have to work harder to earn more digital renminbi to spend more.